An 18-year-old boy with a history of posterior urethral valve calculated at the age of 3 years now presented with severe breathlessness following urinary tract infection. The ABG report is pH 7.25, bicarbonate 10, PCO2 23, sodium 130, potassium 6, chloride 96, blood urea 130, and serum creatinine 5.8. The USD shows bladder outlet obstruction, bilateral hydroureteral nephrosis. So diagnosis here is a CKD, chronic kidney disease stage 5 with chronic tubular interstitial disease. So you will see the pH interpretation. The pH is 7.25. So it is acidosis. Bicarbonate is 10. Normal is 22 to 26. PSU2 is 23. So it is a case of metabolic acidosis. Now we have to see whether it is higher normal anion gap. The anode gap is measured cation minus measured anion. So it will be around 24 in this case. So it is a case of high anion gap metabolic acidosis. Now we have to see whether it is compensated or not. So its change in bicarbonate is 40 and change in PCO2 is 70. So expected compensation is met in metabolic acidosis is for every 1 mm mole per liter falling bicarbonate, there should be 1.2 mmHg falling PCO2. So expected PCO2 is 23.2. So here it is 23. So to the compensation is adequate. Now, so it's a case of high anion gap metabolic acidosis. So now we have to see whether the anion gap explains the change in bicarbonate. So we have to find the delta ratio. That is measured anion gap minus normal anion gap by normal bicarbonate minus measured bicarbonate. So delta anion gap by delta bicarbonate which is around 0.86. So delta ratio assessment less than 0.4, it is hyperchloremic normal anion gap acidosis. 0.4 to 0.8, it's renal failure and combined high anion gap and normal anion gap acidosis. 1 to 2, it's usual for uncomplicated high anion gap acidosis and lactic acidosis. More than 2, it's a case of pre-existing elevated bicarbonate due to a concurrent metabolic alkalosis and pre-existing common secret respiratory acidosis. So delta ratio less than 2, it means there is no metabolic alkalosis. Here there is no metabolic alkalosis. So here the diagnosis is high anion gap metabolic acidosis. So why there is high anion gap metabolic acidosis? We will see that in renal failure, the metabolic acidosis is due to the loss of functional renal tubular muscles, which results in decreased ammonia formation, decreased sodium uh, H plus exchange, and decreased GPF. So, all results in the decreased acid excretion and also deficient bicarbonate production. So, neuremia of renal failure, sulfuric organic, uh, phosphoric organic acids are retained. So, that results in the high anion gap. So, that is the reason for high anion gap metabolic acidosis.